Uh, so today we will discuss about the memorandum and uh, how to write a memo. So look here, uh, a memo is uh, actually a short form of memorandum. So memo is a short form of memorandum. It is one of the most used means of official communications in the business world. So memorandum is also a means of communication. So through memorandum, one can transmit or uh, or you may say uh, exchange informations in the business world. A business um, memo is a formal written message within the organization to meet a specific needs. So a business memo is a formal written documents that is circulated in the in the business for uh, to, to meet a specific needs to or to achieve a uh, specific uh, goals so it is a memorandum a memo basically used in uh, office so you have to know the format of the memo how to write the memo so the first look here so the first one the heading so after the name and address of the company that is letterhead type or write the word memo or memorandum at the top of the page so at the top of the page after the letterhead that is the name of the business name of the company so add a uh, name of the company uh, or name of the business and the address and then the there is the letterhead and after the letterhead at the top of the page you have to write the memo or memorandum that is the memo you are going to write so the first the headline heading now second one is recipient recipient means uh, to whom you are going to write uh, for whom you are going to write your memo so the write the address of recipient in the correct format so you have to write the name of the name and address or name only write an uh, write the address of the recipient uh, to correct format so you have to uh, write the address of the recipients to whom you are writing your memo so for example to all employees of the cell division so you are writing your memo for the employees of the cell division so you have to write in this way to all employees of the uh, cell of the cell division so this is a response for whom you are uh, writing your memo so this is the um, uh, recipients now um, uh, writer writer means who is writing the memo write the name of the persons writing the memo so here you have to write the name of the um, writer so you have to for example from mr abc means you have the name head of the cell so it is the example so here name head of the cell designations so it is the writer who is writing the memo for the all employees of the cell division so it is the recipient so it is the writer so it is the sender and it is the receiver now look at the next one is that so that is very much important uh, so that is writing at the memo to be included so when is memo is written, memo is written is to be included at the memo now the subject this will be given and this will give the reader a brief idea about the information in the memo so the looking at the subjects the receiver can uh, gather the knowledge about the subject matter that is written in the body of the memo so the line must be brief and to the point so subject must be brief or precisely now the body so body is very much important in the memo this is where all information is content this is all information is content in the body the body must not be too long the ending must state issue state issue and end on a positive note so ending must be a positive one now the signature signature of the body the signature of the writer now uh, look here uh, so body so body is very much important here all the information is content in the body so you can divide your body into 
three parts the opening parts the main body and the closing for the opening part you may state the main idea of the memo so at the beginning of the body you uh, you can write the main idea of the memo here you have to focus the reader's attention on it and the main body main body where you can explain support and develop the main point of main point more fully so the main body where you have to explain support develop the main idea of the memo now the last one is the closing especially and uh, the accent that you want the reader should take so why you are writing why you uh, have written this memo is explicitly um, explicitly uh, you may say the uh, explicitly explained in the closing line of the memo so the body is most important so look at the heading heading kya hai? heading matlab hai wahan ke हेडिंग में मेमो में मेमो नंबर लिखना होगा लेटर हेड में जिस कंपनी का लेटर हेड होगा उसमें तो नाम कंपनी का एड्रेस रहेगा उसमें उसके नीचे मेमो और मेमो नंबर रहेगा रिसीपमेंट मतलब कौन किसके लिए लिख रहे हैं उसका लिखना होगा जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल टू ऑल एम्प्लॉइज ऑफ द सेल डिवीजन जिसको जिसका एड्रेस करके लिख रहे हो और इट इज द एड्रेस ऑफ द रिसीपियंट्स जिसको एड्रेस करके लिख रहे हो उसको दे दिया फ्री राइटर जो लिख रहा है फॉर्म देके फॉर्म कौन मिस्टर एबीसी हेड ऑफ द सेल इसका नाम होगा फिर डेट जिस डेट में मैं वो लिख रहा है उसका डेट फिर होगा सब्जेक्ट ठीक है सब्जेक्ट हो गया दिस विल गिव द राइडर ए ब्रीफ आइडिया अबाउट द इन्फॉर्मेशन यहाँ पे सब्जेक्ट जो है सब्जेक्ट में छोटा करके इन ब्रीफ टू द पॉइंट सब्जेक्ट को छोटा करके फ्रेज का आकार में लिखना होगा ताकि ये देख के ही जो पढ़े उसे समझ जाए मेमो किस लिए है मेमो क्या लिखा हुआ बॉडी इज द मेन पॉइंट सो बॉडी में सब कुछ क्लियर में लिखना होगा सो दिस इज द this is what all information is content so all this is the this is the body body is the main point for all the informations each content uh, in all the information is content in the body so uh, so the body play a vital role in the memo so body must not be too long in the memo so you have to end the body with a positive note so you can you can also you can also divide your body into three part opening opening part main body and the closing one opening parts opening part shall you uh, state the main idea of the memo main body explain support or develop the main point of the uh, of the, of the memo and the closing line uh, especially uh, you want the reader uh, what the reader should um, should take so what you want uh, from the reader after reading the memo so the body play vital role the body me kya hoga sab information content hoga body me और बॉडी में छोटा होगा लॉन्ग नहीं होगा एंडिंग में कुछ पॉजिटिव होगा मतलब क्या चाहते हो तुम रीडर रीडर को ये सब बॉडी में होगा सिग्नेचर लास्ट में होगा सिग्नेचर सो दिस इज द फॉर्मेट ऑफ द मेमो नाउ लुक एट लुक वन द एग्जांपल ऑफ अ मेमो सो दैट सो दैट यू हैव यू कैन हैव अ क्लियर आईडिया अबाउट द मेमो सो इट इज द लेटर Head. This is the letter head of the company syndicate uh, consultancy service private limited uh, Nandip Andhiri Andhiri West Mumbai 53. So, this is the letter head of the company. Now, the heading memorandum. Now, look one, two. The recipients all employees from the writer head names. Orna Boos, Director, Sales and Marketing, Debt, Subject, New Health Scheme. This is the subject of the memorandum. Now, here, which is the address that is written for this memo. All employees, which is the name of all employees, which is the name of all employees. Orna Boos is the name of the Director, Sales and Marketing Department, which is the name of the memo. Debt, Subject, New Health Scheme. So, this is the format and other body. Look here very uh, carefully. The company is introducing a new health scheme called SCS Health Plan. So here the first line introduce the main idea of the memo. The company is introducing a new health scheme. That is the name of the scheme is SCS Health Scheme. So this is the health scheme that the company is introducing. You will receive your new medical card and a booklet 
outing the term outlink the term and conditions so here the the term that is you you outlink the term and conditions of the scheme by june 30 2020 so it is the uh, schemes you will receive so the employee will receive uh, medical card and booklet uh, outlink the term and conditions of the scheme by june 30 june 30 within june 30s the employees will get the booklet uh, where all the terms conditions will be there in the uh, booklet now the explanations the main body explain the supporting and developing scs health plan is compulsory for all the employees of the company so it is the compulsory for the employee so all employees can uh, can buy this health insurance i am sure the new health scheme will improve the existing medical facilities and would benefit our employees so it is also helpful it will also be helpful for the employees uh, and it will also improve uh, medical facilities for the employees we encourage you to use your new medical card whenever you visit the health center so uh, also you are requested or also you are um, suggest you may say to carry your medical card whenever you visit the health center your cooperation in this matter will be greatly appreciated so uh, you are um, suggest you are suggested to cooperate with the company for the initiate for the for this initiative um, plan so this is the body and now the signature look at the signature of the uh, head the or the boss so at the body company is introducing a new health scheme health scheme to introduce here name ss health plan to log you will receive your new medical card and booklet medical card and booklet mil jayega tumhe june ke 30 tak jisme term and condition sab kuch rahega the health plan is compulsory for all the employees of the company health planning jo health plan compulsory hai for all employees of the company ke liye compulsory sab karna hai i am sure health scheme will improve the existing medical facilities ye hum nishchit hai ki ye jo health scheme hai new introduce kar raha hai ye existing medical facility ko improve karega aur employee bhi benefit milega employee ko we encourage you to to use your medical card whenever you visit health center tum log ko encourage kiya ja raha hai hum kar kar rahe hain ke मेडिकल कार्ड को तुम कैरी करो जहां भी विजिट हेल्थ सेंटर विजिट करो इसको कार्ड को लेके जाओ योर कोऑपरेशन इन दिस मैटर विल बी ग्रेटली अप्रिशिएटेड तुम्हारा तुम और कोऑपरेशन इन दिस मैटर तुम्हारा बहुत अप्रिशिएट किया जाएगा सो दिस लॉन्ग लास्ट द सिग्नेचर दिस इज द बॉडी ऑफ द मेमो सो इन दिस वे यू यू कैन राइट अ मेमो थैंक यू